Hi, Johnny Bergen here with another Chicago Blues guitar lesson. This time we're talking about By Request, Jimmy Rogers, another one of his uh, most famous tunes, You're the One. I'm in F with a capo. I'm going to call this uh, the third fret, even though it's really the fourth fret. It's the third fret up from your capo, for example. Now, the uh, intro is really nice and well worth really nailing. That was it. I'm going to do it again. So let's try that again. So whatever you do on the pretty stuff, you got to make sure you got a good lump. You the one. So we're going to get back to that and let's get this intro together. Then your chord, which is the B seventh shape chord with the low E string. Then slide. Um, fifth fret up from the capo on the B string. If you could learn that, you really got it made. That's great. So you hammer on with the first finger on the G string, open B, second fret B, open E, second fret. And then you sort of describe that seventh chord. So, it's your typical four bar intro, right? You really want to grab that with your fingers and have a nice attack on this part. He, he really sort of jumps out at you with that one. He's a little softer than this. And then, this is getting the music out of the chord, right? That's one, then two, roll. You the one. Now the most important thing is just the lump here. But it has a quick change. When it's, when it's the chorus, it has a quick change. You the one. Really gave me a buzz. I don't know if you can hear my foot tapping. Well, let's try a ping on the way down. Ping. Now let's try a ping in the air. My foot's in the air. You the one really gave me a buzz. So I went the upbeat and then the downbeat. Like that, that was a downbeat. That's easy. You just hammer on with your first um, finger, first fret on the G string. I didn't think I could last much longer. Or it's he's really lumping on the chord. And then so let's try a lump. Let's try that again real slow. Lump on your chord. Use your finger on the open B string and then the and the G string. And then I pick the high E string on the four. I'm gonna do that again real slow. Here we go. Didn't think I could last much longer. You just how wrong I was. Then he does a great like. Then 
notice how that's just like the intro and you know just kind of mixed together or he's a master of the open strings To the latest news made me feel so bad. Made me play. Robert Lockwood is probably playing those ninth chords in the back. It has that real bassy, aggressive sound. You're the one, but if you're the only guitarist, feel free. That's an F9, right? Really gave me a buzz. I don't think I can last much longer. That's a typical ending, huh? So here's the typical ending. You can dig in a little more here. Made me feel so bad. Try one. See how that answers? You the one really gave me a buzz. should almost pay more attention to the left hand. This is important. Ah, I messed it up. Well, you my all day study. You my midnight dream. No, I love you, baby, but ever seen you the one really gave me a buzz for the G string and the thing I last much longer sometimes they even hear this but mostly all right so now I'm gonna play a little bit of this You can't always hear the, the Lockwood part, but you hear this. He really stays out of the way a lot. But you hear this. Anyway, so it's real pretty. So the main thing is, is these little lunges out. It's kind of like act like you love it. We're just and then here's the uh, ending. This is a. Uh... Just like, uh, maybe that's where uh, Freddie King got the ending to The Hideaway, right? I know he totally idolized uh, Muddy Waters and Jimmy Rogers and uh, played that chordal style as well. So have fun with this song and uh, see you next time. Thanks a lot.